It's December 20th, first day of the block out period for Magic Cheese. Everybody in the park today has paid their way into the park. What do you guys think? I mean, it's early yet. <laughs> it's still early in the day. But I recall last year we made, I think it was at least one, maybe two trips to the park during the block out period. And it was unexpectedly busy. I was very shocked at how busy it was. I thought there would be a bigger effect on the lack of magic keys in the park. I'm not feeling that today, right now, so far. It's early yet, but that's gonna be our, our sort of goal today. I mean, we're gonna be enjoying Disneyland, don't get me wrong. We're gonna be enjoying some of those holiday festivities today. I'm really looking forward to seeing the parade again, the castle lighting ceremony, that kind of thing. Uh, but I also wanna kind of get an idea of is this a busy day or not? Which that's what I always do, man. That's just like my thing. <laughs> In any case, uh, one thing I would observe though, right off the bat, is that they haven't sold a magic key in I want to say like a year. It's been a year, right? So what really should we be expecting? How many magic keys could there be left? Because you're gonna get only, it's only gonna get smaller and smaller as people drop out, magic keys stop renewing for whatever reason. If they're not selling anyone, if they're not selling any, then they have to keep reducing. So, I mean, should we be expecting a big effect on crowds? Should we be expecting to see this huge difference? Probably not, but then here we are. I, I don't feel like, I mean, it, it actually feels kind of slow. At present, it is 12.45. That's what we're looking at. 12.45 on a Wednesday afternoon, just five days to Christmas. You know whether or not it's busy <laughs> this is this is the most i have felt the vibe because i've been spending a lot of time doing things that are non-holiday related but i am actually really feeling that christmas music being played right now on main street There you go. That's more like it. <laughs> we're out here in front of the castle and now we're talking. We got some activity here. Lots and lots of people getting their last chance holiday photos here in front of the Sleeping Beauty castle. There we go. You know what? Let's just take this thing right into Fantasyland. Try to swim through the sea of selfies. Over the drawbridge. Through the castle. Ah, <laughs> fantasy land. Fantasyland Station. Oh look, we're greeted with a closed Peter Pan. Looks very busy in here though. It does look very busy in here. See that? Now part of that is the Peter Pan effect. Overflow is heading into the other dark rides, but that's a pretty good sized line there for Snow White. Same for Pinocchio back here, too. Wow, wow, look at, look at the teacups, you guys. Look at the mad tea party. I think, I think I wanna get in that. <laughs> I feel like that monster from Monsters University, the Charlie Day character, I feel, Oh my god, I want to know. Wow, I can't even remember the last time I saw this. And it, I mean, it's been, I, I, don't, I can't remember. 
even post-COVID at all? I don't know. The goal, by the way, is to get just inside this point, right about here. You get inside that point, you're going on the next rotation. So if you're outside of that point, if you're, let's say, back on that, that where it turns the corner, you're just shy. You're just you're gonna you have to wait one more one more rotation. Which means I should hopefully get a teacup on this one. Oh, just short. Oh no. Never mind, I did make it. Perfect timing. So that's 22 minutes all into our vehicle. We're going to do a little ride recon, even though this is sort of a vibe check today, but you know I can't help it. 22 minutes, that's not bad. Now, one of the uh, purposes of us doing this today is because I, I'm trying to evaluate where Disney's head is at with regard to reservation system and magic keys and single day tickets. This is a this is a litmus test. This is a benchmark these days, this two week stretch. And I have to say, just seeing what we've seen so far, it doesn't bode well. It does not bode well for magic keys or the reservation system because they're getting a good turnout today. <laughs> More so, it's busier. I mean, I, when's the last time we've seen that queue at the Mad Tea Party on the first the, day? On the teacup thing, make sure we are facing forward. That they're, the magic keys are blocked out. I, th I, I think there's a very real chance we're seeing the end of the spin about. I think there's a very real chance we, you know, we're on a slow decline for the life of magic keys. But that doesn't mean that you can't have the same kind of experience because you can count on the fact that they're going to, you know, keep selling packages and things like that. Please remain seated until your teacup has completely stopped. It's only it's only the hyper the Uber Please look down like and gather your belongings that will be affected by the lack of magic keys. I will be affected for sure. But if you're Disney, what's not to like about that teacup situation? What's not to like? about the Matterhorn as we walk by. What's not to like about that single rider queue? Look at how deep the, the lightning lane queue is right here for the Matterhorn. Standby is busy as heck. What's not to like about that? Mind you, this is a holiday. It's a week before Christmas, so it's supposed to be this busy. And there's still a very real chance that uh, you know they're gonna wanna have those magic keys in here as the, as the mortar. Hang on, gotta pay our respect. We fill the gaps, we, we, we complete the, the park, and you, you need that, I would think, for, you know, like January and February and stuff like that. That's, you know, off-season off for single-day uh, single tickets, but it's prime time for locals, for, for Magic Keys. So there is still a market for, for that kind of ticket, but, I mean, I have to wonder, though, how, how eager they are to, to continue, considering, as I mentioned, it's been... I mean, has it been a year? Has it been a year since they've sold a Magic Key, any kind of Magic Key? For a while, they were selling just Inspire. And I, I thought, right now, that this might be the time they, they open them up just even for, you know, a couple days, hoping to get people to, who are buying single-day or multi-day tickets during the holidays to, to convert those into Magic Keys. But, man, I don't feel any urgency no urgency whatsoever from Disney in, to, in terms of bringing back the Magic Key or, or selling again new Magic Keys. We're going to take a break from our analysis of the park and of the reservation system and of Magic Keys and we're going to do as promised. Pull over here at the Small World Mall to check out the 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock Christmas Fantasy Parade. Once again, the performance of the Christmas Fantasy Parade has been delayed. We hope to begin in just a few minutes. Thank you. Or maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope I caught some of that announcement, but we were just standing there. It started raining like five minutes before the parade was about to go off. It started to rain. It's not like a heavy rain, but it's enough to be annoying and, and dampen your clothes. So I went and got me an umbrella 
which I was not prepared today. I don't know why. I don't know why I wasn't prepared for this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because of the inclement weather and for the safety of our guests and performers, the performance of a Christmas fantasy parade scheduled at this time has been canceled. We regret any inconvenience this may have caused you. Well, there you go. That settles that. <laughs> the parade has been canceled. They had been saying that it was just delayed, but it has been canceled. So I think I'm going to, well, we're already here in Tomorrowland. I'm going to get some lunch. I'm going to try some of that Christmas, some of that holiday lunch here at Galactic Grill. There's supposed to be a chicken sandwich here. It's quite interesting. Let me see if, oh my gosh, it looks like I am not the only one with that idea. Look at this though. Remember when they used to have just one standby? One, two, three, four, five. They have five now. Those are five open windows. Wow. Found a, a blue wall to shoot my shoot my lunch real quick against. It's like an Instagram wall. We're at uh, Galactic Grill, obviously, and I got the Hyperdrive holiday chicken sandwich. Fried chicken sandwich with cranberry orange marmalade, barbecue sauce, provolone onion rings, and arugula on a brioche bun. That's a big, thick. Did you see the size of that chicken patty in there? My goodness. Cheers. Well, it sounds a lot more interesting than it tastes because really it tastes just like a regular chicken sandwich with some onion strings in there or onion rings. There's not much to this. It's okay. Well, that was a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> I was disappointed. I was hoping to find something really creative and fun there, but that was not that good. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do now, real quick, I'm going to stuff over at Main Street, get my jacket, put my umbrella away, although I might want to keep it handy now that I think about it. And we'll walk through Tomorrowland and show you that the uh, crowds are still here. They haven't left. The rain has not scared anybody. It sends them indoors for a minute. But they come right back out as soon as, as, soon as the rain stops. Got my jacket, <laughs> warmed up a little bit. Now, where were we? We're talking about the crowds and the effects of rain. We had uh, mentioned in our DCA video, the state of DCA report that we just filmed two days ago, and I was shocked at how not busy it was at DCA. I really thought it was gonna be busier, but it just wasn't. <clears throat> and by the way, DCA has been exceptionally busy. Busier compared to other DCA years, DCA has been more busy than Disneyland has in, sense, in the sense that it just, it wasn't equitable, you know, park versus park. I, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. In any case, <clears throat> Somebody had asked if I thought maybe the, the rain and the prediction there should be a few days of rain here in the parks. If it would have, if that's the reason why people weren't showing, and I, I don't think so. Uh, especially not on a case like today, where everybody here has a single day ticket. I mean, they do allow same day cancellations. My husband and I love you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, they do allow same day cancellations for single day tickets, not for reservations for uh, Magic Keys. You have to know it's going to be a really bad rain before you make a cancellation, in my opinion. And once you're here, you're here. That's, I mean, ain't nobody leaving, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> Not when the, you know, everybody here paid, theoretically, everybody paid $200. <laughs> That's for one park, $200. I, I, I was looking at buying tickets and I'm like, I don't, I don't often, I forget, I forget how much it costs to go to a park here, man, because I have the, you know, the pass and I don't, I don't have costs. Hey guys, hi. Uh, I don't have reason to look at the, the prices very much. I look at the calendar for the availability, but not for the prices. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, for 200 bucks, I'm not, I'm not leaving. Uh, and it would have to be a, a big storm <laughs> uh, that I would have to know. Hillary would have to be in town to get me to cancel that reservation, I think. So with that said, I, I do expect, I do think that the parks are going to stay pretty full today in spite of the fact that we just had a... I mean, it's already over. The rain is already over. And I don't... It doesn't feel like it's going to drop again. 
I even put my umbrella away, so. Where to next? I'm not sure. I will say though, in this moment, this doesn't feel too bad. Where do people go? Like, are they still hiding out in gift shops and inside Pirates and Haunted Mansion and Rise of Resistance? Doing all those attractions that have very long indoor queues? Although Pirates doesn't exactly have a long indoor queue. But it's a long ride indoors. I'm tempted to go check out either or both Haunted Mansion and Pirates to see how those are performing today. Pirates is posted at 40. Wow. Shocking to the point of being unbelievable. Forty minutes? Really? Oh my okay, so that's <laughs> it's getting a little more intense right here. You've got that, the bridge. Oh, pardon me. You've got the bridge. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, you've got the bridge, and it is extending. I'm curious, once again. The science part of me is kicking me in my brain right now. It's like, Dave, get in that queue. Get in that queue, Dave. We gotta know. We gotta know. But I, for, before I do that, I'm gonna go walk over to Haunted Mansion and see how that one's looking. 45 minutes, Haunted Mansion. Looks like a bit of a challenge. I think I'm gonna take that challenge. Make my way into the queue here, the standby queue. 45 minutes. We're out here into the into the fountain area. I think it's gonna be less than that. Here's the back of the queue. Seems like almost every year I'm hyped up for Nightmare Overlay. And I ride it a couple times, you know, when it first when the Halloween season first starts, but I never ride it when we get into the, the Christmas season, into the you know, post-November 10th. Most of my ride-throughs are during the Halloween season. Look at that, by the way, while we wait for the Haunted Mansion. Look at that queue for the train. That's the Disneyland Railroad. There's a switchback over here along the landscaping there, and it actually goes all the way down. down oh my gosh, I have never... <laughs> I don't think I don't think I have ever seen the Design Railroad queue spin back around. I've seen it out here, like it gets out here sometimes. And, and but I, I don't think I've ever seen it run down there while also using this extended part right here. Oh my. <laughs> Just like old times, man. Okay, so nine minutes it's taken us so far. Took us nine minutes to get from the fountain to the threshold. Once again, I am sensing, feeling zero negative impact from the lack of magic keys today. None. Disney has to be happy with this, right? Plus, I'm seeing, you know what, I gotta look at the tip board, but I'm seeing, you know, longish lightning lane queues as well. Yeah, look at this, I scanned this real quick and I came back to record it. Look at these return times. Something like, I, I think I saw three hours for Haunted Mansion. Uh, seven hours, what did I, say? seven hours for, was it the Matterhorn? Runaway Railway was for like nine or 10 o'clock at night. That's unheard of. I, I've done a hundred State of Disneyland reports and I never saw a tip board that looked like that for Genie Plus return times. Disney is getting just what the doctor ordered on this day. Uh, no free entries for Magic Keys. A bunch of people paying $200 a ticket and they're buying Genie Plus. It's a win for Disney, man. As for us, we're moving somewhat briskly considering the size of that lightning link cube that's on my right. It was nine minutes to do all that out there to get to the threshold. And it's gonna be about 10 minutes 
to get past the pet cemetery into the extended exterior queue. So it's 19 minutes total. And then I would guess probably 20 minutes. I've never actually timed all this back here, but that's my guess. It's probably 20 minutes back there. Here's the tomb, you guys. The tomb where they will be building the ADA elevator. They're gonna build it right underneath that berm right there. ADA guests are gonna go in and out that door. I assume, I, th I think they'll leave the door intact. I mean, I don't see why not. But now that I look at this and I, I, I'm curious, this is a discussion I may get into in the construction report, but that berm is there for the train. The train goes through that berm because this door, if, if memory serves, I think you go down a bit, I think you have to go underneath the train. The train is going to pass, I mean, just pretty much right here at that level. So it's possible that the construction of that elevator may disrupt the Disneyland Railroad. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would drive me nuts. No Haunted Mansion, no Splash Mountain, no Disneyland Railroad for a period of time. I don't know if it's the whole period of time, but for a partial, some point, it seems likely, especially when you consider that they oftentimes have to close things down, shut things down, just for electrical reasons, because you know, they're, you're know you working on one section, it may not be getting in the way physically, but the electric may be getting in the way. They have to shut power off. It's starting to rain out here. And a bit of a slog, I don't mind telling you. 40 minutes total to get to this point right now. So we did in fact spend 20 minutes in that extended queue out there. But the, the board said 45. I mean, I guess we could be inside the building for 45 minutes, but I'm pretty sure that's not where they measure the wait time, is it? I'm gonna ask a cast member. Okay, so that's one vote for at the Doom Buggy. I just asked a cast member, she said she believes it's at the Doom Buggy. I think that's right. I think that's right, because there's a lot of show between these doors right here, getting into the, you know, the ante room, and then the stretching room, and then the, uh, the portrait hall. I can't imagine they would call, well, see for me that's where it starts though. For me that's where it starts, is the, the ante room, where we're getting into right now. This part. never actually done any serious recon on Haunted Mansion before. I was surprised. I thought it was going to take forever to get from the threshold into the ante room and then to our vehicle. Six minutes. <laughs> it took six minutes. We were 51 minutes all in. That's kind of surprising. You think, you feel like it's going to be a long time in there, but it's really not. Between, because you got the whole speech and then the stretching room and then the portrait hall. Now the portrait hall that's one spot where it can really, I've, I've spent a lot of time in that portrait hall before, but we got through there pretty briskly on this day. But you can definitely get stuck in the portrait hall. I'm just noticing, I'm, I'm paying attention right now to the feel of the traffic. I feel a lot of people going in the direction I am right now, but not a lot of people coming in. Are we beginning to see the exodus of guests. The sun's going down, it's getting colder. It's still a little drizzly out. I'm actually gonna go back and fetch my umbrella. Oh, there's some inbound. There's some inbound right there. Okay, I like to see that. There we go. But it definitely, it's still, I'm seeing, I'm gonna follow this, I'm gonna follow this this current. It's like the, uh, the EAC, dude. <laughs> Just jump in and see where the tide takes you, man. 
my gosh, I can, I don't know if you can see this, there's a huge line out here to get a turkey leg at the hub. That's <laughs> wild. Man, Disneyland folks are hardy folks, let me tell you. They don't mess around. All right, things are breaking up a bit. Okay, so the, the EAC stopped at, at as Frontierland met Main Street. Hi, guys. The rain is starting to come down a little bit. I, I've, I've gotten my umbrella. <laughs> I've made my third trip to the locker on this day, and the rain is starting to come down pretty good here, I, and I have a feeling that is going to uh, cancel the five o'clock show of the parade as well. We're gonna miss both shows today. Do stay tuned though, because we have at least one more trip pre-Christmas for uh, Fresh Bake. Uh, uh, Liz and Sophia are gonna join me on Saturday. We're gonna be here on Saturday to enjoy our very last day of, of proper Christmas time in the parks. And we're gonna take in, I'm sure, all the normal festivities, hopefully, you know, weather permitting, parade, castle lighting, all that stuff. Plus, Small World. I, I, we got to show Baby Sophia Small World at, at Christmas, that kind of thing. Uh, so we're gonna get we're gonna get more holiday season. Ooh, I gotta try that that ham and pineapple sandwich over behind me at the at the Jolly Holiday too. I, I have not eaten any holiday food here at the park since our first video. Just been too busy doing other stuff. So with that, I think what I'm just gonna do, I think, I, th I mean, there's no show left now. We've, we've made our observations about the effect of Magic Keys being blocked out today and that there is none, <laughs> there is none. And now what we're seeing, if we're seeing any sort of reduction in crowds is people just getting out of the streets and out of the way while the rain is coming down. So it's hard to evaluate anything beyond that. Plus there's no more shows to see. So I think I'm gonna take one more walk around this hub, take in a little bit more of that holiday magic, like at Sleeping Beauty Castle, which just still makes me smile inside and out every time I walk by that. <laughs> <There's t> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> I'm not sure if I picked that up on the camera or not, but I saw it. But I just love watching people have a good time at Disneyland, man. It just makes me so happy. It's what I was talking about in that video we did about you know what's coming up in 24 for Fresh Baked and being happy makes me happy. There's that queue I was talking about for the turkey legs. People are just going for it. They're going for the turkey leg. Uh, but being happy makes me happy. Seeing other people be happy makes me happy. I just love seeing happiness and that's why I love coming to Disneyland during the holidays because there's so much of that going around. You hear that music right now? How does that not put a little life in your step? How does that not make your heart happy? I don't know. There's a lot of folks still camped out here on the curbs, hoping, hoping against hope that there's gonna be a five o'clock parade, but I'm here to tell you, it is not happening. The crows are out. Do you guys see that way off in the distance? I'm not sure if this camera can pick that up from this distance, but uh, the crows are out, out at the Disneyland Railroad. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, guys. You can go ahead and go look at the rest of Disneyland. By the way, if you're enjoying this right now, this sort of pleasurable walk down Main Street, go follow us on Think Park POV Pros. It's another channel of ours. As soon as I'm done shooting this, I'm gonna turn right back around, turn the camera on, and walk through the park in this rainy day, taking in both the rain and the holiday sights and sounds. It's an acoustic channel, there's no, no jibber jabber. You don't hear me yammering on. It's just the park, sights and sounds. Uh, stay tuned for that. We've, got a, we've been putting up quite a few of those lately. Very long, you know, walkthroughs through the park. Letting the park speak. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm pretty good at that, actually, if I must say so. Uh, framing the, the park in a way that allows it to express itself. That's what I'm doing next. But for now, on this show, we're signing off. Thanks for watching, everybody.
follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, on TikTok, or on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney, that's special with no E, and on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. And if you like our show and want to show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Baked. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, everybody. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh Baked.